What is up everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. Hope you're having a great Saturday so far. Uh, passed by uh, America's Pastime in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Saw my friend Rich. Picked up a blaster of archives from this year, which is one of my favorite sets. Um, also picked up a bit of an assortment of cards from uh, dating back from 88 all the way to 2016. Uh, we're going to open these all up now and see what we got. Uh, we'll do the archives last. Let me show you what we have here. I grabbed two packs of 2016 Heritage. Um, if you saw a previous video, uh, pulled out a uh, really nice Kyle Schwarber rookie card autograph from that. Um, grabbed two packs of 2014 Tops Series 1. Two packs of 2003 Tops Series 1. Got a pack of Gallery from 2003. Got a pack of Stadium Club from 2001. A lot of these I have never opened up before, which is uh, really cool. I'm looking forward to that. We got a 99 Fleer Ultra, which I've never opened up. We got Pinochle Summit from 96. Should be pretty cool to open up those. Um, and then I grabbed a few of these, um, just kind of throw-ins. We got a pack of uh, Pinochle from 92. We got a couple of packs of Fleer 92. Uh, score 92 and an 88 Fleer. Uh, so this is Searching for Hits with Eric. I'm Eric, and we're going to get this underway, see what kind of value we can get from these cards. Um, if you're curious as to my all-in spend, um, ended up spending about $80, give or take, a little bit less, um, at the store for everything here, with the biggest ticket item being the Archives Blaster, which was 30. So we're gonna crack right in. We're gonna go from oldest to newest and see what we can find. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so that you can find out whenever we're putting new uh, content up. Um, start off with the Fleer 88. Um, not much value with the 88 Fleer. Um, I just happen to like it. This is about the time that I started collecting. So anytime I get a chance to open up junk wax from the late 80s, um, I usually don't pass that up. So um, Fleer 88, if you're not familiar, comes with a sticker. Instead of the Topps gum, we got a National League Champion Braves sticker. Um, here's the cards. Kind of plain with the stripes. There's the back full career statistics. Um, no real inserts or hits. Um, we'll just see what we got here. Jeff Reed, Don Robinson. Got a Greg Maddox. That's probably going to be the best card in the, uh, in the set. That's Greg Maddox's, uh, Fleer rookie card, if I'm not mistaken. I'll throw that in a sleeve. Greg Walker, Matt Young. We got a changing of the guards in the Red Sox. Um, we got a Griffey Sr., Fred Lynn, Larry Anderson, Mark Langston, uh, good old checklist, Jim Morrison, Jack Lazorko, Charlie Huff. Uh, what a career he had. 20-some-odd um, years in the majors and Kelly Downs. So um, not bad. Um, I'm actually quite uh, quite happy. I pulled out that, uh, that Greg Maddox, which is awesome. So pretty cool stuff. Um, we'll get that in the sleeve. And... Uh, yeah, not too bad there. Put that up there. Uh, let's open up this 92 score. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. Again, not much going on with this in terms of value. Um, I just don't remember if I've ever even opened up 92 score. Um, ah, yes, I have. The, familiar, uh, the familiarity of it. Um, right off the bat, we got Kenny Lofton, rookie. Kenny Lofton, really nice speedster. And we got a rookie prospect of Jim Tomey. Um, Jim Tomey, probably the best card you're going to find in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hall of Famer, Jim Tomey. We'll put that right in the sleeve. His rookie prospect card. Pretty cool. That's what the back of the scorecards look like. Jim Tomey, a young Jim Tomey. And we'll sleeve up this Kenny Lofton, too. I liked Kenny Lofton all those years with the Indians. Speedster Kenny Lofton. So, not too bad. Pretty uh, pretty hot start here um, from packs that I did not really expect a whole lot of value from. Uh, Todd Van Poppel. 
We got a uh, Yankees commemorative Babe Ruth card. It's the Babe right there. Um, pretty cool. I think I'll probably put that aside for my cousin Joe. He'll love that. Dave West, El Cid, Sid Fernandez, Rich Gedman, Steve Bouchel, Tom Prince, Mark Leiter, Quinones, Juan Bell, El Presidente, Dennis Martinez, Steve Lake, Mackie, Sasser, and Pete Smith. So not much else, but um, catching that Jim Tomei and the Kenny Lofton right in the beginning was nice. Uh, Fleer 92 I have opened before. Um, I've opened this on the channel. Um, not one of my favorite sets, but they were there, so I uh, figured let me open them up. Um, here you go. Let me show you what the backs look like. Uh, not much in terms of chase cards, although there are randomly inserted, hand-signed Roger Clemens cards. So um, not holding my breath that we find one, but... Um, We'll open up both of these and kind of look through them all at once, uh, since these are not going to be my favorite cards in this video. So here's what the front looks like, kind of a weird greenish color. The back, um, I do like the back with the, with the second picture, um, pretty nice. So we got Jason Grimsley, Hubie Brooks with the Mets, uh, Robin Ventura, Kelly Gruber, Dave Rigetti, Todd Benzinger, I don't like this vertical design of the name, hard to see, hard to tell what's going on. Uh, Wilson Alvarez record setters, uh, the unknown hurler. We got a Jeff Gardner prospects card. Uh, Jeff Gardner, I don't remember him. Ron Gant, it's like his third or fourth year. Rich DeLuca, uh, Scott Livingstone, Brett Barbieri. Uh, we got Kurt Stillwell. Nice Larry Walker, Hall of Famer, Jose Guzman, Brian McRae, Dickie Thon. Uh, we got a Sean Berry, Manny Lee, Kurt Young, Dennis Cook, Bill Spires, Zane Smith, Rosenthal, Hibbard, um, whole bunch of commons so far. Kevin Tappany, Tom Pagnazzi, Tracy Jones, and nothing, nothing really from this. Um, so we'll put this aside here. All right, next pack up, we're going to do this 92 pinnacle. Okay, let's see what we have in here with the pinnacle cards. Uh, there are a couple of chase cards. Uh, let's see here. Let me just grab a couple of top loaders real quick. Just as we get into some of the other packs, I want to make sure we have top loaders here ready to go. Maybe I'm being a little bit hopeful. Uh, here's what the pinnacle cards look like. I opened these on the channel once before as well. Only grabbed one pack of them. Um... Albert Bell, uh, second year card for Albert Bell. Really good power hitter in his day. Jose Lean, Phil Plantier, Tom Pagnazzi, Jim Gantner, Kevin Elster. We've got a Mike Humphreys rookie prospect card. Don't remember him. Um, we got a sidelines card of a bowler. Who is this? Oh, that's John Burkett. Bowling. Interesting. Um, Pinnacle Shades. They did a little... Uh, Little series of, uh, of guys in their fancy sunglasses. That's uh, Chuck Knobloch, twins, and uh, played for the Yankees for a little bit. Mark Leonard. Uh, we got a Luis Mercedes rookie prospect. The Doc Gooden. That's a nice card. I like Doc. We'll put that up on screen for now. We got a Marquise Grissom, Mike Greenwell, Greg Olson, and Daryl Hamilton to finish up that pack. So now we're getting into some stuff that I've never opened up before, which is pretty cool. We'll start off with the Pinnacle Summit cards. Um, look for individually numbered chase sets. So there's the odds and the cards that you can find. Um, never opened up these cards before, so this should be pretty interesting. Let's see what the Pinnacle Summit from 1996 looks like. Uh, first impression, kind of cool looking cards. Um, 
They are bricked, it feels like, which is not a good thing. Um, ah, sticking together a little bit. Uh, Ryan Sandberg right on top there. Nice Hall of Fame Ryan Sandberg. That's what the back of the cards look like. Um, pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever even seen these cards in the stores or, or anything. So um, put that there. Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer. Uh, we got a Latroy Hawkins 96 rookie card. Latroy Hawkins might still be pitching, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's been around for quite a while. We got a John Mayberry. Try and peel these cards apart without damaging them. Um, kind of like the design. I don't particularly like the stats lines in the back, but the look at the card in the front is really interesting. Uh, Russ Davis. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on your alerts. There's Derek Bell, had a couple of years with the Mets. Um, another John Mayberry. Um, of all people to double up on, John Mayberry would not be the one I would pick. And a Marquise Grissom. Marquise Grissom. Along with this uh, little expired information card. So, really interesting. Um, grab two of those packs. So let's see what the other one has to offer. Um, hopefully it's not as bricked as the first one. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, we got Marty Cordova leading things off. And no, they're not sticking as bad as the first pack, which is good. Uh, Rafael Palmero with the Orioles. Oh, I stuck, spoke too soon. There we go. Uh, Matt Williams had a nice career. Ray Ordonez rookie card. Ray Ordonez great defensive shortstop for the Mets. Uh, a Rod got an Alex Rodriguez. Um, sticking together a little bit with uh, with Barry Bonds. So two really nice players back to back. Um, checking this out. I'm not sure if this is, it's not A-Rod's rookie, but, um, that's a very nice card. That's an early on in his career A-Rod to go along with this Barry Bonds, which is pretty nice. Put those together up there. Um, and we got a, uh, Pinochle Summit ballparks card which i think are inserted one every six or seven packs this is actually numbered out of eight thousand uh it's fifty one hundred out of eight thousand ballparks card of tim salmon so some really good stuff coming out of that uh coming out of those pinochle summit cards really really like those cards all right let's move on to our 99 fleer Ultra. Um, again, never opened up 99 Fleer Ultra, so we'll see what these look like. This is what the uh, the odds look like um, of pulling these limited edition insert sets, as well as these medallion and so forth. So, go and grab one pack of this. Let's see what this looks like and uh, and see what we can find. So, um, I have seen these before. I've never opened them up, but um, pretty nice looking cards. Got the uh, the foil refractor sort of thing going on with the name. That's what the front looks like, and this is what the back looks like. Got the additional photo, um, as well as a uh, full stat line. So, pretty cool stuff. We got Scott Brocious with the Yankees. I will uh, put that aside for Joe. Got a Vinny Castilla, nice career. Um, Dimitri Young, when he was with the Reds. Flip this around here. Um, prospect card of Carl Carlton Lower. Carlton Lower, future special prospect card. Um, 
clearly he did not pan out. Um, we got a John Jaha. That is a gold medallion edition John Jaha. Pretty cool stuff. Gold medallion card. One of those uh, randomly inserted cards. Sean Estes. Uh, we got a Nef... Uh, Nef Nefi Felice, uh, Nefi Perez, excuse me. Uh, there's the John Jaha base card and Reggie Sanders. So, doing pretty good with getting these inserts and hits. Um, did not expect to come away with numbered cards from these earlier sets of cards, but here we are. So now we're getting into the more exciting stuff, the stuff that I was was looking forward to more so than the older cards, but um, again, some really nice stuff. Uh, we got one pack of 2001 Stadium Club, which uh, I don't know if you really even see the odds on this foil packaging. Maybe if I catch the light just right. But there are all kinds of opportunities for inserts and parallels. And I think there's even autograph potentials. So we'll see what this has to offer. I love Stadium Club and the photography from all their sets. That's their big focus is around the great photos. Um, like these cards right away. Uh, the name has that uh, that refractor thing going on. It's actually raised a little bit. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, but uh, pretty nice design. We got Alex Gonzalez on the top. Alex Gonzalez. Uh, there's what the stat line looks like. It gives you uh, sort of a different breakdown of the individual year, how they performed on turf, on grass, and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Um, Alex Gonzalez. We got a Roger Clemens, the Rocket, from 2001 Stadium Club in his Yankees uni. We got Tim Salmon. We got a Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. Always a good thing to find Chipper. We'll put Roger Clemens over there as well. We got a future star, Jason Hart, Oakland Athletics future star. Um, don't really remember much about him. Don't think he made it too far in the majors. Um, we got a Jay Buhner and a future star's Ben Petrick, the Colorado Rockies. So overall, like this design, like these cards a lot. Um, not too bad. I like that Chipper Jones. Uh, we'll move on to Topps Gallery. Um, sort of an artistic rendering of uh, cards. Um, kind of interesting set. It's an all-painted set. Um, kind of interesting. You got autograph opportunities in here. Inserts and, and so forth. Let me see if I can catch the light just right if you want to freeze that. Um, never really opened any of the gallery sets, but uh, figured I'd get one pack. And, uh, and see what they're all about. Um, you get five cards in this pack. So let's see what we got. Maybe we could pull a hit out of here, see if we're lucky. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, uh, this is what the gallery cards look like. Uh, like I said, a bit of an artistic take on baseball cards. Um, you got the stats in the back here. Uh, Garrett Anderson had a nice long career. We got uh, Derek Lowe in his Boston Uni. We got a, uh, a refractor of some sort. It's way heavier than the other cards. So this is like a metallic, metallic feel um, of Jay Gibbons. I see if this is numbered or anything. Uh, don't see any numbering, but uh, it's like metallic feel. Kind of a cool looking insert. Um, Rich Aurelia, and we got a Jose Contreras. Very nice Yankee. Uh, pitched for the Yankees, also pitched for the White Sox. Cuban defector, Jose Contreras. All right, let's check out 2003. 
Uh, series one, 10 cards per pack. These are hobby packs. Um, most of these are hobby packs, if not all of them. Um, let's show you what the odds are. If I can get the light to hit it properly. There you go. All kinds of variations. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know if I've missed any photo variations or anything. Um, 2003, I was not collecting and did not open or have never opened packs of these, I don't believe. But um, let's see what we can find. They're a little sticky. Um, interesting kind of blue border card. Uh, full stats, just like Topps always loves to give you. Um, there's Roberto Hernandez. Um, Aaron Rowand. Got a Matt Morris. Is it Matt Morris? Uh, not his rookie, but... Uh, Chris Rietzma. We got a record breaker of Fred McGriff. Record breaker insert. Runs batted in. Season record holder. Uh, 106 RBIs in 2000. So Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Uh, we got a Sporting News all-star card of Jorge Posada. Jorge Posada, beloved Yankee catcher. Uh, we got Mark Mulder, Luis Castillo. It's going to be an early on Luis Castillo. I don't know. I guess he's been playing for a while. There's a Mike Lowell. And the last card in this pack is going to be Vernon Wells. Um, last card, not counting the good old checklist. Just looking to see if that Vernon Wells was a rookie, which it was not. Um, don't think any of these are inserts or, uh, parallels, excuse me. Uh, let's see what the other pack has to offer. There we go. Give me a little bit of trouble for a moment. Actually, I did open these once before, now that I'm thinking about it. The Teixeira rookie is in this set, um, as well as a few others. I was able to get hold of some 2003. Um, there's a Michael Kadire rookie. Kadire had a really nice career. Longtime Twins outfielder, Michael Kadire. We got a uh, Josh Hamilton future star. Josh Hamilton and Carl Crawford. We'll get that sleeved up. That's, uh, that's quite a duo. Um... Cards a little bit, little bit of paper loss from the stickiness, but uh, nice card right there. Um, Josh Hamilton, his career got derailed, but uh, put up some amazing numbers while he was playing. Um, we got a Manuel Ramirez, first year card, Manuel Ramirez. Uh, Ramon Martinez, first year card. Uh, we got a Jerry Manuel manager card, uh, Tory Hunter All Star, Larry Walker Hall of Famer, Greg Maddox Hall of Famer, and Hideo Nomo. Oh, and there's another card sticking to the Hideo Nomo, and it is a big hurt, Frank Thomas. So a really nice pack for Hall of Famers. Um, look at the back end of that, Larry Walker. Maddox and Frank Thomas, um, very nice. So, nice pack right there. Let's move on to 2014 Tops Series 1, also hobby pack. Uh, let's see what we can find in there. Let me show you what the odds look like. There you go, if you want to freeze it. Let's see what we can pull from here. 2014, I'm trying to remember who the good rookies would have been. Uh, it might have been Kenta Maeda, maybe. Um, we'll find out. Let's see who we got in here. That's what the front of the card looks like. We'll show you what the back looks like as well. Uh, Doug Fister leading things off. Chris Perez. We got a, uh, what is this, American League Average Leaders. Uh, Trout, Cabrera, and Maurer. Um, anything with trout is always a good thing. Nice card right there. 
We got a Marcelo Zunia, power players. Um, little code that I'm sure is expired. We got a 87 upper class insert of Greg Maddox. Throwing uh, commemoration of his rookie year. Um, kind of like that card. Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Uh, J.D. Martinez. Um, not his rookie card, or else there would be a rookie emblem, but uh, second year card for J.D. Martinez. Pretty nice. Uh, Esmeal Rogers, Uzbaldo, Ubaldo Jimenez, Josh Fagley, and Jim Henderson. So, a couple of interesting cards in there. Open up the other pack of 2014 tops. Make sure you uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the cards. Let me know what your favorite card is. Uh, leading things off, we got a rookie card of Ethan Martin, uh, Nick Swisher, Brandon Belt, Jimmy Rollins, Nate Shearholtz. And what do we got here? We got a uh, Mark DeRosa red parallel. Not numbered that I see, but uh, pretty nice. Red parallel Mark DeRosa. Uh, Buddy Boschers, Mark Burley, Alex Cobb, and Nolan Arenado, gold cup card. Nolan Arenado just traded across uh, over to the St. Louis Cardinals, who are looking to be in a pretty good position in that division. Nolan Arenado, Gold Cup. Sorry about that. Knocking the card, knocking the camera a little bit. Let's just reposition it again. All right, let's move on to our 16 Heritage. Like this set a lot, uh, maybe because of the card I pulled last time we opened them. But uh, let's show you what the odds are there. Okay. Got two packs of Heritage. Then we'll get into that Archives Blaster before ending the video off. Hope everyone is having a great Saturday. Got a uh, Matt Adams leading things off here. That's what the back of the cards look like. Throwback cards to that 1967 design. Uh, Starling Marte and Andrew McCutcheon, Pitt Power. Uh, we got a Hosmer Sackfly wins game in World Series game one. Marco Estrada, George Springer, uh, George Springer, Dustin Pedroia, freshly retired to Dustin Pedroia. Um, Adam Eaton, Adrian Gonzalez, and Elvis Andrus. So not seeing anything special in that pack. Um, not sure what the high number indicator uh, is, so I'll have to look at that later on. If I did miss something, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll go back and check in certainly more detail later. Let's see what we have in our second pack here. Let me also just double check real quick. I think there would have been a certified little emblem if any of these autos were real. I'm also pretty sure that they uh, they have them signed in a blue. Uh, but um, let's see here. Second pack has Freddie Gonzalez. We got a pitching leaders from 2015. Arietta, Granke, Bumgardner, and Garrett Cole. Got a Mariners team card. Giancarlo Stanton, when he was still with the Marlins. We got a Schwarber New Age Performers card. There's Schwarber. Like I said, got his autograph previously. Uh, we got a Pirates card. Carlos Gomez, former Met. Brandon Belt. And Sergio Romo to round out that pack. So... Uh, pretty cool. Not too bad. I'm um, going to leave those up as the backdrop as we crack into the archives. 
Like I said, I've opened up archives before on the channel. Um, love this set. Love the throwback to various years of cards. Okay. Give you the tour around the box. There's the odds that are on the box. We'll show that to you. And then we will crack on in. Inside, we gotta find our packs. Okay, we got our box topper as well as our seven packs. Let's open up the box topper. These on occasion can be autographed. I've never seen one in person that is autographed, but you never know. And it's a Pete Alonzo, which is pretty cool. Like that a lot. Pete Alonzo. Oversized. If I was going to get anybody, that would be the pick. Um, I already showed you the odds, so we'll give you one more quick glimpse. And then we will get through these packs really quickly, see if we get anything exciting. Um, lots of opportunities for variations and autographs and all kinds of good stuff. So um, leading things off, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn right there with the throwback to 74. Um, Bob Gibson. Then we got the 2002 design, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that's 2002. Um, shame on me for not, not remembering. Uh, Anthony Rendon. Got a Chipper Jones. Uh, Ralph Kiner. Got a Bobby Bradley rookie card. Throwback to the Bowman design right there. Willie Castro, rookie card. And Will the Thrill Clark. Uh, just skim back through. Make sure I didn't miss any black and white variations. Um, I'll go more in detail later on. But there's image variations. There's missing nameplates. There's all kinds of things. So... Uh, again, if I missed something, feel free to leave me a uh, comment. Let me know. Uh, Lou Brock. There's a Nick Solak rookie card. That's a nice one. We'll put that out for now. Cody Bellinger. Elvis Andrus. Yuli Gurriel. Uh, we got a Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer. Noma Gassiopara. And a Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Okay. Just got uh, five packs remaining here. Thanks again for watching. Leave a, uh, a like. Uh, helps the video out. Sorry, knocking into the tripod. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Adbert Alzole, rookie card. Nice. Fred McGriff. Larry Walker. Uh, Jonathan VR. Starling Marte. Got an Alonzo Gold Cup. Like that a lot. We got a Goose Gossage and an Isan Diaz rookie card. So pulling some rookies, not the top rookies, but rookies nonetheless. Uh, Bo Bichette is certainly in here. That's a nice one. Luis Robert, Jordan Alvarez, Dustin May. Uh, I think Arizona has got one in here. Um, there's a Bo, Bo knows baseball, Bo knows football, uh, Billy Williams, Josh Hader, we got an Alan Trammell, uh, Whitey Ford, we got a Chris Sale, the conductor, insert, uh, Vladdy Jr., and JT Rayamulto. We'll see if he makes it back in time for the start of the season. It's looking like he might miss the first few games with his broken thumb and his throwing hand. got next okay leading this pack off is going to be a Josh Bell when he was still a pirate uh, Chris Paddock Jason Hayward uh, there's the big hurt Frank Thomas uh, a rod Alex Rodriguez and what do we have here we got a black border parallel of Vladdy jr. that's gonna be out of only 175 86 out of 175, Vladdy Jr. Uh, then we got Brian Reynolds and Ralph Kiner. Let's sleeve up that Vladdy Jr. Um, nice card right there. Nice black, black border. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. That's a nice one right there. We got two packs left. Let's see if we can't just find a hit in this to round out this video nicely. Uh, we got Satsugo rookie. We got a Dustin May rookie card. Very nice. Dustin May, one of the top rookies. Bob Feller. Uh, Andres Munoz rookie. John Means gold cup card. Uh, we got a Juan Soto gold cup card. Juan Soto, very nice. Uh, Ricky, Ricky Henderson. Like that card a lot. And Charlie Morton. Final pack of this video. Let's see what we got. I do not see a hit, but uh, can never quite tell with archives. Uh, we got Soroka leading things off. Max Scherzer. Uh, Andrew Jones. Pedro. Ichiro. Uh, we got a Yelich and Hira. Master and Apprentice. Trevor Bauer and a Tim Anderson. So, no auto, but a lot of nice, nice cards. Um, again, let me know what you think, what your favorite packs to open were, what your favorite card was. Leave me a message saying hi. Uh, but um, hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend. Thanks for watching. And as always, this has been Searching for Hits with Eric. Have a great evening.